series and how to find the missing number in a series what do you mean by series a series is just a collection of digits letters figures in which terms follows a certain rule and to complete the series or identify a term a missing term a student is required to identify the rule on which the given series has been formed so dear students today we are going to learn a number series how we can find the numbers the missing number in a number series so what is a number series in a given series of numbers the consecutive terms follows a pattern involving basic arithmetic operations such as addition subtraction multiplication division that means its ratio or powers means uh, square cube and sometimes more than one operations may be used in the sequence for example 1 3 5 7 it's a series of addition here 2 is added to form the next term it's a multiplication series here 4 is multiplied to get the next term but here it's one multi operational series how it is let's check here the consecutive terms are followed by two operations one is addition another is multiplication so to get the rule here two types of operations are followed and in a series a certain rule is following throughout the series the general instruction in the number series you need to observe the pattern to find out the rule once you are getting the rule or the pattern then it's easy to find the missing term are you ready now let's start just pause the video and find the number then see the answer 1 5 14 30 55 91 so first let's get the difference between two consecutive terms these are the consecutive terms the difference is 4 9 16 let's see another terms the difference is 25 and 36 and here all the differences are perfect square square numbers 4 9 16 4 4 is the square of 2 9 is the square of 3 then 4 square 16 5 square 25 6 square 36 then what should be the next difference the next difference must be 7 square so to get the next term what do we have to add 7 square with 91 and that's equal to 140 another number just think the number what it should be here the first term is made up of product of 1 and 2 first term means 1 and multiplied by 2 next number then second term is multiplied by 3 third term is multiply 3 by 4 3 into 4 then 4 into 5 then 5 into 6 the series is multiplied that which term this is if the term is n so n into n plus 1 so what should be the next number next number is the next term is the sixth term so the number should be 6 into 7 so the pattern is n into n plus 1 and that's equal to 6 into 7 
the same series you can follow another method also 2 and 6 6 and 12 12 and 8 sorry no, 12 and 20 20 and 30 and the difference is increasing by 2 the in 4 6 8 10 so what should be the next difference the next difference must be 12 so same we are getting the number 42 here the series is 2 4 8 16 and 32 find out the next term let's find the pattern every term is multiplied by 2 so 32 is multiplied by 2 that's equal to 64 what is the next number in the series 1 4 9 16 25 are you observing here all the numbers are perfect square numbers 1 is the square of 1 4 is the square of 2 9 is the square of 3 16 is the square of 4 25 is the square of 5 so what should be the next term next term must be square of 6 that's equal to 36 here 1 1 2 3 5 so what should be the next number this pattern is each number is the sum of preceding two numbers so here 1 plus 1 that's equal to 2 here before 1 nothing is there so 1 plus 0 that's equal to 1 then 1 plus 1 equal to 2 then 1 plus 2 equal to 3 2 plus 3 equal to 5 so what should be the next number 3 plus 5 that's equal to 8 here 1240 here the values are decreasing that means it's a division or let's find out the ratio 1000 divided by 5 that's equal to 200 again 200 divided by 5 equal to 40 so to get the next number we must have to divide by 5 that's equal to 8 10, 100, 200, 310. Let's find the difference. 10 and 100 difference is 90. 100, 110. The difference is increasing by 10. So, what should be the next difference? The next difference must be 120. So, the next term is 310 plus 120 that's equal to 430 values are increasing and 2 6 18 54 here next term is a product of 3 and the pattern is multiplied by 3 so, 2 into 3 equal to 6. 6 3s are 18. 18 3s are 54. Now, we have to find 54 3s are 162. 6, 17, 39, 72. Here, let's find the difference. The difference is 11, 22 and 33. So, what should be the next difference? The next difference must be 44. So, what should be the number? 72 plus 44, 116. 2, 15, 41 and 80. What should be the next number? Let's find the difference. The difference is 13, 26 and 39. And the differences are multiple of 13. So, what should be the next difference? The next difference must be 52. So, the next term is 80 plus 52 and that is equal to 132. These are some examples of number series. There are infinite number of series and there is no any definite rule. You have to find out the rule. 
for the series so to get the missing number in the series you must have to find out the rule or the pattern you have to observe the pattern first then it's easy to find the term it may be added may be may be subtracted may be uh, div divided or may be multiplied or sometimes we are getting multi operational series solving these type of number series this type of problems it's effectively required regular practice logical reasoning and abstract thinking hope everyone understood you will try to get the missing number by using this rules thank you